Speaking of reaction online, I know um, we're going to shift gears here and go on to the next topic and talk about, okay, are you guys familiar with Lord? You can answer in the comments right now. We know she's a musician. Yeah. We know she's fairly popular. I guess to a younger demo. I mean, she started coming up a handful of years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but she posted a photo online. Let's see if I can get a song yeah, for you. Let's get the picture here <clears throat> so people can fully understand. Um, it involves, okay, we have it up. Okay. So it's a bathtub, not her in the bathtub. <clears throat> bathtub, but you can see where you check in up there. It says day off. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a diamond in you know, Lord. You know this, <laughs> mm -hmm. is all I'm saying. And she said, all and I will always love you, which we know is a very popular lyric from Whitney Houston's music catalog. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you see the picture, you see the lyric, and some people will go, what? She will always love a bathtub. Mm -hmm. Lord is saying, I will always love a bathtub. Well, let's go back to how Whitney mm -hmm. Houston died. Mm -hmm. We know that Correct. this was surrounding, wasn't it the Grammys party? It was the Ooh. Grammys party and it was at the Beverly Hilton Before, Hotel. Oh, it I was believe. definitely at the Beverly Hilton. It was at the yeah. Beverly Hilton and they had found her submerged uh, underwater in a mm -hmm. bathtub. Mm -hmm. So, okay, there's the, the cultural story that is, uh, you know, in terms of music culture, right. what has happened mm -hmm. to Whitney Houston and someone like Lord, who's mm -hmm. in the industry, who's a musician. Mm -hmm. Some will say she should have known that. Everyone knows that's how Whitney Houston died. If you're They're especially you're in the industry. Death. Okay. Uh oh. Here I'm, you go. I'm 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 on her side with this just because she's apologizing now. Yeah. And she took it down. Okay, here's the thing. Intent. Sometimes you say things and then you realize, oh my gosh, that sounded terrible. Right. I didn't really mean that. That's exactly what happened. Absolutely. It's your intent. If she's like, ooh, watch this. Right, because what would be the and, point? Yeah, exactly. What would be the point? What, what she, was she going to get out of that? Nothing, nothing but exactly. backlash. Exactly. So, I mean, you have to give people an opportunity to accidentally make mistakes and sure. then immediately apologize. You can't hold that against people. Trust me, we all say things, especially here on TV. All the time. We say things that all of a sudden, immediately, After we it say. After comes out. Exactly. Usually, dur usually during the uh, commercials, uh, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I said that. And should I apologize or should I say I didn't mean it like that? It? Yeah. Then bringing more attention to it. Right. So, I mean, what can you do in that situation? Somebody else so, I believe that that's sincere. So and I don't again, know Lisa, her. She, she needed another set of eyes on that before she released Right, that. but think about but it. How you're she wanting know? to take a bath on your day off. That's what she geotagged mm -hmm. it as, her day off. And she's just thinking, dang. Mm -hmm. I am happy I can get into this you can, We can justify that all day long, of course. Yeah, I mean, right. I, that's any of us. But I can also see the other side because it's like when you're using... Okay, we all know when we're posting on Instagram, you don't just, let's pop a picture, I throw a couple words, pop. We, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, we I'm all listening. take a minute to post. We, we sure mess do. with the filters. We think strategically. There's a bathtub. <laughs> it's Friday. I don't. Are we going to talk about... Oh. We bath do. bomb Friday. Right. Oh, but if I use the word bomb, is that now okay, not appropriate on a Friday? I mean, there are so many things that this mm -hmm. is true. It sometimes takes a full day, then you save. Now you can save <laughs> mm -hmm. the photo with the caption so you can come back to it after you think about it. Mm -hmm. All it sounds so silly when I'm saying it out loud. But but it's it reality. is it is our culture and our reality because what goes online lives online. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm glad that we are all very aware of that. So Me it, too takes a minute to post. Others will say they just put things out there. And the beauty is that you can't take it down. Amen. Mm -hmm. But and she did will, an hour later. That will live on there. Oh. Does Megan have something that. to say? To me, this is similar, not exactly to, but similar to the recent controversy over the Snapchat poll. Okay. They, oh, Rihanna Chris and Chris Brown. 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 Oh, yeah. Somebody, obviously, that was just on the marketing team. Not have happened, yeah. But who is checking that? They needed a, a few more people to look at that. And For something go, like that, absolutely. Because it's a whole on? That's campaign. A whole campaign. Right. And, and this is not as bad as that, but it's still bad. Yeah, so if you guys don't know what Mason's talking about, it's a Snapchat poll that they put up onto their Explore page mm -hmm. saying, would you rather, I think it was punch Rihanna or slap Chris Brown yeah. or some combination of the That's two. That's terrible. And <laughs> that blew up yeah. on So whenever Snapchat. you say Chris Brown and Rihanna and you haven't yeah. been living under a rock, you know mm -hmm. that there was a domestic violence issue there. Correct. And I believe she has a restraining order. I mean, it's a whole thing mm -hmm. with that. When you say those two names, it lives in infamy, you know. That so right. to me, that was extremely tone deaf, and that right. was intentional to get clicks because people, oh, exactly. yeah, which is silly because Snapchat is, has been not through doing some well. changes recently, and people are not too happy about it and deleting. And the Rihanna app very came quickly. for them. Mm -hmm. She did, and the same thing when Kylie Jenner Kylie, didn't yeah. like all of the issues going, not even issues, the update. She didn't like the update because Snapchat became mm -hmm. so complicated. One, what was it? Instagram post, tweet. Snap. Well, one thing that Kylie said online, and people started oh, getting yeah. off of mm -hmm. off of Snapchat. Gone. So, anyways, that's about Snapchat. This is about Lord. Do you think her music 
will be compromised at this point. Kirsten Holmes, I'm sorry. sorry. Uh Uh-oh, because she loves her some wet wit, right? She Mm -hmm. does, but she chimed in because she loves that Mason, she loves that you get to chime in on extra (laughs) shots. So yes. Big shout out does. to you. Thank you, Kirsten. And Kirsten's off today, so if you guys are oh, missing her at the 9 and us? 11, she's up in the bed watching us, but she'll be hosting the morning show on the weekends for this uh-huh. weekend. Okay. Sweet. So tune in then. Okay, this other story having to do with posting online. Uh-huh. I've only heard of it. I have not seen See? the actual video. Mm-hmm. Me either. You haven't? Okay, do okay. we have? We won't have it because we don't have it. But <laughs> it is another insensitive Ins- moment mm-hmm. that has been circulating online yes. of a girl yes. boomeranging who's familiar with boomeranging here at this table we know it's yeah, a feature yes. within I, oh it's what you saw with the ins- fishies and her and maverick it, it's yeah. a video that like plays and then goes back to the original point and plays again so it's like a boomerang back and forth back and forth and it's of a oh yep so that's the initial tweet that came out White girls will literally boomerang their grandma being lowered into her grave. That's exactly what you saw in the boomerang mm-hmm. video. It's the coffin going. So when you need to not post and post, right? It's like at a funeral, I've always been. You anti. just don't take your phone. You don't take pictures or you don't take a camera. But in different cultures, in the Latino community, at least in my story, my older generation yeah. family members take pictures. So does my dad. Take pictures at funerals. Mm-hmm. He keeps the ones it's a of form his of mom respect. and dad in his phone. So strange to me, but yeah, he that's, does. I mean, that's their choice, right? Yeah, it, totally I mean, it's my choice. dad, so I'm allowed to judge him yeah. too. But, <laughs> but I'm saying that, that okay, the younger generation coming in, like putting that feature of boomeranging like your grandmother underground. I don't. That's, it just seems like an inappropriate time to pull out your cell phone and do this. But maybe, mm-hmm. like Megan was saying, in different cultures, like ours, yeah, it's acceptable. But they do call her out for being white, so it's unclear but, to me if right. she's just a light-skinned Latina. Mm. What oh. are people saying online They're about this? chiming in just... more about the Lord situation. They haven't quite gotten to this okay. one yet, but they're, my mom says that she doesn't think Lord meant any harm. Kirsten okay. Holmes is chiming in saying, I'm with you, Mama Daytill. Lord meant no harm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Rhonda Dame said, you are correct, Rob. It's called having grace for other people's lack of thought. That's okay. it. And Kirsten right. says, I love Whitney. <laughs> she loves there were that many Whitney. letters. Yeah. Yeah, I love Whitney too, which is why I think like when you see that you go, oh come on! Even when you say her name, you see mm-hmm. a bathtub. But that's my experience with her. I yep. may be mm-hmm. completely off when it comes to some rock and roll phenomenon yep. that happens, and I'm like, oh, born to be wild, and I put something, and maybe there was some incident that happened that I, I would, would never, never know. know. Yeah, exactly. But I'm not lured in, in the industry and a female in the industry. That's which true. Is- Again, it's intent. Did you really? What, what did you mean by that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean anything by it. Then take them at their word. You know, I mean, yeah. initially, yeah. unless there's something sinister going on. So, guys, we've been trying this new thing out on the Morning Blend where you guys vote on the trending stories that I present later in the show. Mm -hmm. Well, we wanted to give you guys the opportunity to hear all of the trending stories because for those people who voted on something and I didn't present on it, you'd never get to hear the story otherwise. So we wanted to go through some of those stories. So, Christy, if you could tell me what the first one is, I will go through and tell them. But before we get to that, we can Mm -hmm. just chat about what you guys are doing this weekend. Say that one more time, Chrissy. The lady, the crazy lady on the side oh, of the Oh, this one's good. <laughs> okay, so you know, as journalists, we're always on FaceTime doing reports, just trying to connect Facebook with you guys. Live. Look, shoot, we're doing it right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there was a reporter in Pittsburgh, a traffic reporter, who was out in the street, on the sidewalk, <laughs> doing a traffic video, and the cops were called on her. The police show up and say, um, hey, excuse me, I just got a call about a crazy lady talking to herself <laughs> on, on her side phone. Of the road. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, what? I'm just on Facebook Live with all of my viewers. And he's like, no, no, really. I got 911 calls about this. That's they had funny. a good laugh about it. Mm-hmm. But that because was that's that story. We do look like crazy people out here in these streets so holding up our phones, yeah. talking, and having all kinds of personality. Exactly. When the people are on the other side of the screen and we can't see them. I was doing it do- throughout the show this morning on my Facebook page. Go check it out. And I kind of feel like a crazy person. Do we have audio of this? No, I cut the audio when I cut the video. Okay, got it. So there she is, the cops but approaching her saying, exactly. hey, we got to call that crazy lady. Oh, my gosh. So yeah, and my she God. thinks it's a joke at this point, And then she's telling her viewers what's happening. And then the cop's like, no, 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 lady. <laughs> this is not a joke. I got a 911 call. And she's like, oh, my God. The end. <laughs> I'm wondering if she's going to do it or not do that anymore. I want to go back to the funeral story really quick because okay. Reggie Cepeda chimed in. 
He's saying, it's a memory. I took pictures. No surprise there, because we know our loyal viewer, Reggie Cepeda, loves to take pictures. Yes. Um, he said, at my father's and my grandparents' funerals, not cool to post with the boomerang. Should be a personal memory, in his opinion. So Elizabeth if you're going to take it... Rogers agrees with him, Megan. Okay. Okay. She says, there's nothing wrong with taking pictures for your personal use at a funeral. Maybe that's way of your remembering, your way of remembering. Putting it on social media, however, is a whole different story. She says, don't do that. Right. You know, here's, I think, the next shift in social media. Okay. All the choices we'll make to not post stuff. Mm. I mean, look at all the stuff going on with Facebook and everything else. You know, mm -hmm. what, what you put out there, you know, is not always safe and secure, and it lives forever in some other d data farm or whatever. Right. So a lot of people That's are true. making choices about, you know what, do I really want to put this out there forever? You know, you think some things are private. We just learned the other day that Facebook is scanning our private messages mm -hmm. between each other. You could post photos in there and things like that. So... You know, I think people are deciding, you know what, I'm not going to share everything. I'm going to yeah. pull back a couple steps here. I right. think many people are making those choices now. And I think Scary. about that next generation, right, who, and this has been a story in the past, right, yeah. plenty of stories where, I, I remember it, a kid was trying to sue his mother for the photos that were posted oh, online that. about him mm -hmm. of him when he was a young kid and he wasn't able to make choices. Now that he's an adult, it's like, and clearly there was an issue between him and his mom and right. this was mm -hmm. one way to like try to bring her down. Mm -hmm. But I think about that. The, mm -hmm. the pictures and some people I follow will post full-on nude pictures of, of their little kids. And, right. and that's, that's fine and I get it. Mm -hmm. like, again, they're cultural babies. thing too. They're babies. It's precious. It's adorable. But... When they're 18, when they're 20, right. and they go for a job interview, and you just Google their name, mm -hmm. what are the pictures that are going to come up? And do you want it? Wh why? Mm -hmm. it why was that necessary in right. that moment? Because you wanted the likes, or because you're just so proud and cute, you're not thinking. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it takes like literally thinking about it mm -hmm. for hours mm -hmm. before you post. Because why is it going to change the world if you do post that, mm -hmm. or if you don't post like, it? As a dad, are you ever going to forget the first time you saw your kids walk, or you right. heard them talk for the first time, mm -hmm. or that first time you gave them a bath? No, mm -hmm. we don't need to see it because we don't have that emotional connection to your child. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I may be that crazy mom who's out here posting all the moments <laughs> when my time comes. Fair like, warning. Like fair warning. <laughs> all the moments. Yeah. All of them. So I. I Get both sides, but going yeah. into the whole social media, where 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 are we now in 2018, mm -hmm. where we've okay. had it incorporated into our lives? How are we now stepping back mm -hmm. and evaluating the situation? You're right; that will be the trend. I'm, I'm thinking sure. the stuff that's coming out with Facebook these yeah. days and that congressional testimony will be big. But he said I it's think a breach of trust, I, not a breach I'm of. I'm telling of you, data. they're only saying that now because they got busted. Right. So yeah. we're gonna. I mean, that's my interpretation of the apology tour right now. Because okay. we signed off the on apology these things. tour. Yeah. yeah so tour. Well, I mean, Catch we'll see. Shoot. It's a very powerful presence. A lot of people say, even with what they know right now, something like 48 or 49 percent aren't mm -hmm. gonna pull back at all right. because it's such a part of their life. And I think we're sort of ingrained with it. Yeah. But it's a, it's a controversial thing right now. And Where'd she go? Oh, lots of people commenting. Marvina. Oh, Marvina. Oh, no, Marvina. I love Kennedy. that. Kennedy. She says she asks her children if it's okay for them for her to post something before she actually posts That's it. That's a good way I to go. I wish that my father, Bruce Day Till, would take the same courtesy with me. <laughs> because there are plenty of vacation pictures that I have to hound him for. I actually reported him to Facebook. You did not. Sure like, did. he won't. Even when you ask him, he won't. He will not. You can ask my ah. mother. She will comment below. Oh, no. Mom, mom now, because mom's also very active on social media, very. she gets it. We're mm -hmm. like, if I were to post a picture that she didn't really like it. Because, again, why? Why have that live on the Internet if it's not something you're comfortable with? Your mm -hmm. body, your choice sort of thing. So mom will, like, always ask, like, oh, mm -hmm. I'm going to post these pictures. Like, you cool with it? If it has, like, my car or where I live in it, I'm just like, why mm -hmm. put that out there? Right. Because it's just stuff that's personal to me. I'm in the industry. Mm -hmm. It's just not necessary. Mom respects the heck out of that. And now mom has had a kind of shift her process of thinking mm -hmm. too mm -hmm. when taking pictures of like, that's for us. Like, that's for our family. Yes. We don't need to put it out there to the universe. But mom mm -hmm. does love pictures. Or we could be having a bad hair day. Mm -hmm. Yes! And Something as simple as, as that. As simple as that. Yo, it's mom. just not part of the brand. Mom, <laughs> that's not part of the brand. <laughs> it wouldn't be my mom because she knows. You're hurting the numbers, mom. My father <laughs> is all I'm saying. Do you, you seem to not, um, like, really have, like, much... Do you care about that? Of, like, no, pictures I do, of you? I do. It's just a day, you know, it's a... It's a it, it's a moment by moment uh, decision. I mean, I do post a lot of photos of my kids, but you know, some of them maybe don't need to be on there. Some yeah, of them are like good thinking. moments. Yeah, I'm like actually mentally deleting a bunch of stuff right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not like part of the problem, or part like, of the solution. 
that I just saw like this look on his face. Yeah, was, like, fear. No, this is after you guys were having a discussion about people trying to pull off a purple checkered shirt with no tie and how weird that is. And then I'm sitting here looking at it like, <laughs> it they're talking about me, aren't they? It looks wonderful. <laughs> well, we're not coming at you or for you. We're not, we're not parents yet. So no. you have a different experience. Mm -hmm. We'll be there. But we will ask our future children whether or not we can post something. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Oh God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more stories just like this one, all you got to do is hit subscribe.